Welcome to the concrete capping and strength testing laboratory activity. Today our PPE includes safety glasses and gloves. We've removed our cylinders from the fog room after an appropriate curing period. Before we can complete strength testing, we need to cap them. The capping allows for even distribution of the load during testing. Let's look at our equipment. We have a sulfur pot with hot sulfur capping compound positioned under the fume hood to help with the fumes, a ladle for scooping, a mold to ensure that the cap goes over the center of the cylinder, and form oil and a hammer to help release the cylinder from the mold. The capping compound is liquid when heated so that we can scoop it and pour it into the mold. The first step is to check that the adjustable base of the mold is aligned relative to the vertical support so that the cap is centered over the cylinder. Now we'll oil the base of the mold for easier removal of the cap sample. Capping requires two people, one person to scoop the sulfur into the mold and one person to quickly and carefully place the cylinder into the sulfur without splashing. Let's go ahead and do a sample. Now that the sulfur compound has hardened, which only takes a few seconds, we use the hammer to strike the mold to release the sample. Now we're ready to cap the other side. Now that all of our samples have caps on both ends, they're ready for strength testing.